You can make a model of a nuclear reactor using these materials which you have at home. Thorium is a radioactive element which is used in old gas lanterns to make them glow more brightly. To extract thorium for your own experiments, get as many lantern mantles as you can find. Blowtorch them into a powder. Mix the powder with some lithium from a battery. Then wrap it all up in foil. Now heat your chemicals in a tin can filled with cooking oil. This will give you pure radioactive thorium. If you have enough of it, you can fuel a nuclear reactor. In a reactor, thorium can change into uranium or plutonium, which is used in, in nuclear bombs. A neutron gun makes elements radioactive, so you'll want to build your own. You will need a lead block, some aluminum foil, and the radioactive americium from hundreds of smoke detectors. The americium will give off a stream of radioactive alpha rays. When alpha rays hit the aluminum in the foil, they produce subatomic particles called neutrons. Neutrons react with other elements and turn them radioactive. Your neutron gun is neutron fun and an excellent source of radiation. To extract the radium from your glow-in-the-dark clock, you have to take the hands off very carefully. Gently dip the hands in solvent to remove the paint. And there you have it, real glowing radioactive radium, an excellent high-grade source for your reactor. It's time to bring together everything you've learned from your nuclear experiments. Place the americium from the smoke detectors and radium from the clocks on a piece of foil. This will be the radioactive core of your reactor. Make some cubes out of the thorium from the gas lanterns and ordinary charcoal and wrap them in foil too. Arrange the cubes into a bigger cube. Drop the americium and radium core into the center of the cube and bind it all together in duct tape. Cobalt drill bits will act as your control rods. This is now a makeshift reactor. If the reactor is working, you can now make plutonium.